whether you're working with technology or you're playing a guitar or a ukulele or a clarinet, what you're doing with music is you're, you're creating a world, you're creating your own world, you're creating your own rules. Um, and that's expressed through sound, but the sound is just a part of that. And together with technology, we've been working with two groups of young people from different schools, Swiss Cottage School and St Mary's St Pancras. There have been three of us working on the project, myself, uh, Cassie and Joe, who are both associate musicians with Drake Music, and uh, we've had some great support from both of the schools in these sessions as well. We've been working with different sorts of technology like Mojis, iPads, touchboards, all things that can give us different ways of accessing the music and hopefully create a level playing field. We've been working on kind of one-to-one -one Perry style sessions and moving in our second term into group music making in an inclusive ensemble. Everybody plays music differently, everybody experiences music differently. As soon as you interact with anybody, then there's this beautiful dialogue that can happen and music facilitates this kind of equality of interaction and, and engagement because you're not limited to certain ways of talking, you're not limited to certain ways of of moving, of writing, um, all these things that might work really well for one person but just really not be accessible for, for another. For children who have profound and multiple learning difficulties, all of their curriculum can be, can be taught through music because it's communication, it's cognition, it's initiation, it's teaching listening, it's teaching looking, it's teaching awareness of another person. Technology-wise, they've learned how to use the technology and the apps and the music, which is great, they've learned that. But on another level, they have built a lot of confidence. That sometimes we work with people in this world that might seem different to us, but that's okay. And I think that's what they're going to take away with them. They've learned to communicate through music, which is really beautiful. have somebody your age giving you eye contact, smiling at you, saying your name, you may get a response that we've never seen before. And I do think that we've seen some incredibly valuable um, and real friendships developing between the young people as they're making music and using technology together. We made lots of bird sounds and we used lots of facial expressions to show how we were feeling. And it made Samiha smile, and it did make me smile too, at the same time. <laughs> Have you enjoyed music? Me and Lulu were playing on the drums together. Lulu enjoyed it because she started laughing whenever, whenever I the sound. I enjoyed it because we get to play with um, different people. Thank you. And, yeah. Thank you for getting to know me. You sat next to me and we played the same technology. We smiled at the same time and moved in the same way. We were able to create something together. Yeah.